being a part of Arthur Murray because I feel like it's one of the places you can get a unique experience of feeling exclusive yet inclusive all at the same time. I started dancing a long time ago. I always liked and enjoyed the fun of dancing, but was never very good at it. And I've only recently decided that I need to take lessons so that I could be a better dancer and a better partner. And I expect to continue doing so for the rest of my life. Why do you keep me Because I keep discovering how little I know. There's always the new parts of dancing that I am learning each time I get on the floor. Anywhere, yeah. It was a mutual idea because we went to a swing dance at the University of New Hampshire and it was the worst experience ever. We were so humiliated. So we said it's time for college professional. So we did, we called you. It's something that the two of us can do together. Neither one of our prior spouses wanted to dance and then when we got together Chuck said, Let's take dance lessons. So here we are. Our favorite dance. I like the hustle with us. I think the hustle is the swing. Yes. Yeah. The waltz is fun though. Learning the waltz is a lot of fun. What are you looking forward to for your next challenge? Going back to the UMA swing. <laughs> we got beat. Showing off. We're going to show it off. We got beat. Would you be my 
started dancing because we were running a Jimmy Fund event and there was an auction for a five free dance lessons, I think, which I bought for Jane because I knew she wanted it because the studio just moved into the plaza where you were working. Yeah. We're so glad we did. Yeah. And I actually thought, oh my goodness, because it was our anniversary, he was going to do it and that's all he was going to do. He was just going to do the lessons. And then somewhere along the line, we realized every time we went, we were smiling. And there are a lot of you out there that do the same thing. Every time you dance, you're smiling. And then we, the more we danced, the more we felt good, no matter what happened during that day. And um, the rest is history. I mean, it literally is how we got through COVID. Is here's to dancing. Good red wine and good dancing. So thank you.
when and why did you start dancing? We started dancing every two years since January. And we started dancing because I bought a gift certificate for Christmas for me. I don't know what you was thinking. Were you super excited when you got the gift certificate? Confused. <laughs> I heard a rumor that you actually tried to give the gift certificate away to your grandkids. Is that true or false? They might make better use of it. Better use of it. Okay. And two years later, you're still here, so why do you keep dancing? Because I love the job. And every dance is a job. forward to for your next big dance challenge? I'm going to learn the tango, do something a little sexier than I used to. I'm so excited.
10 years old. And my father said to me, if you learn how to dance, you'll always have a dance. Did you find any truth to that? Absolutely true. <laughs> so I've been dancing since I was 10 years old. And the first dance was the waltz. Okay, and why do you keep dancing all these years later? Because I need a date. <laughs> and it makes me feel good. I enjoy it. Always uplifting. With somebody who loves me. out hundred dollar bills and it kills and it thrills like the horns on my Silverado grill and I buy the bar double round a crown and everybody's getting down in this town ain't never gonna be the same cause I saddle up my horse and I ride into the city I make a lot of noise cause the girls they are so pretty While the girls are drinking Long necks down And I wouldn't trade on Leroy Or my Chevrolet for your Escalade Or your Freak Parade I'm the only John Wayne left in this town And I saddle up my horse And I ride into the city I make a lot of noise Cause the girls, they are so pretty When did you start dancing, and whose idea was it to start dancing? So we, got a, uh, we started dancing in the fall of 2018, and a mailer came to the house, you know, with pitching, you know, lessons, and we looked at it and said, that, that seems like something fun to do, and uh, we just decided to uh, go for a trial. And, uh, and, and here we are, here two years later. <laughs> we did one dance and we were hooked. <laughs> And why do you keep dancing? It's, it's, it's a way for us to study together and we have so much fun doing it. Um, it's something special. You know, not everyone does it and it's, it's unique and we both get so much joy out of doing that together. Yeah, and we pop, you know, have a lot of fun meeting a lot of other people in the, uh, in the dance community. It's like a, it's like a family here. I know COVID has, uh, has interrupted that a little bit. Pre-COVID, it's really a blast to get together with everyone showcases and, uh, and even that practice. It's just a fun community of people that we enjoy being with.
Y el matrimonio un papel que romperás Si es que acaso queda un poco de cariñito Regaladme tu amistad When did you start dancing and whose idea was it to start dancing? Years ago, we used to watch dancing and um, I used to go together a lot. So I bought him a gig certificate for Christmas and uh, we started from there. And, um, I couldn't be better than that. <laughs> <laughs> and why do you keep dancing? It's just fun. We enjoy it. And it's just good quality time for the second year. So one's off. Know that you feel me somehow. You're the closest to heaven that I'll ever be, and I don't wanna go home right now. And all I could taste is this moment, and all I can breathe is your life. And sooner or later, it's over. I just don't. When did you start taking dance lessons? Oh, about three years ago. And what made you decide to start dancing? I wanted to have a dance with people and have fun and my balance and all good things. Why do you keep dancing after all this time? I find that it helps me be more sane. Um, it's, like I said, a chance to dress up. It really gets people. And I'm learning more than I thought I had to learn. And what are you looking forward to for your next dance challenge? Uh, I would like to do a bolero. And I want to do hopefully another showcase where once the studio is opened up to having large audiences, I find that having an event to look forward to the practice for is very compelling. Not a secret, can you keep? It's where this one you save Better lock it in your pocket Taking this one to the grave If I show you that I know you won't tell what I said Cause two can keep a secret if one of them is dead Secret if one of them is 
was dead Look into my eyes Now you're getting sleepy Are you hypnotized By secrets that you're keeping I know what you're keeping We started dancing for our wedding, uh, to prepare for our wedding 21 years ago, uh, but then we just did it for, for that, and then we always knew we wanted to get back to it, uh, and then 19 years later, 19 years later, uh, we, got back to it. we started again, and that was 18 months ago, and uh, we, we love it, we continue to do it, we know it's good for us, we really enjoy it. When did you start taking dance lessons? About two and a half years ago. And what was the reason you decided to start? Well, we really love to dance. We're the cruise dancers that when we get off the floor, people are always talking to us and you know, telling us how good we look. And we knew we didn't know we looked that great <laughs> because we'd see all these people that were Arthur Murray's dance well, studio types. And some, some of them. <laughs> yeah, some of them, and they could dance. They <laughs> All right, so it's been... You want to do And I wanted it for the exercise. I really needed the exercise. And um, we got a coupon in the uh, bow pack, I think, that um, said that um, you could come for a free lesson. And so have you gone to any events since you've had your dance lessons? Oh, so many events. Well, here, parties and showcases. And we've gone to competitions. So how did you continue your dance journey um, during this whole coronavirus pandemic? We've been dancing virtually in our front hallway um, with Amanda um, on the um, iPad. I, I miss it. And I've always... I and mean, people have always said that when I dance, I look at him with such a feeling, a look of love on me. And I really, I love it when I'm dancing with him. You broke my heart because I couldn't dance. You didn't even want me around. And now I'm back to let you know I can really shake him down. Do you lie?
what made you decide to take dance lessons? Well, we were getting married in, uh, in October of 2018, and we wanted to dance uh, something special. We wanted to look, we wanted to look competent at our at our wedding. And did you achieve that goal? We did. We danced an American tango, which was ridiculously hard. We, did, we took on something that was absurd, but we managed to do it uh, with uh, some adaptions uh, given the environment. Uh, but we did it, and it's the highlight of our wedding video. And after all this time, why do you continue to dance? Because we, just, we found that we love the time together. Um, it's a way of us, we like, we like movement, so we like to do athletic things together and this is, gives us our one night a week where we kind of focus on being together and we make a date night of it, we typically have dinner out um, afterwards and it's a way of us just staying close together. And what are you looking forward to accomplishing next as far as your dance goals? Well, uh, my dance goals may be a little different than Mary Beth's. I would love to be able to compete in a silver level uh, competition at, uh, you know, a silver level uh, meeting. If we ever have meetings again, if we ever have big dance group meetings again, I would love to be able to do the silver. So and that's sort of my goal. And what do you think hers is? I think hers is to not dance in those particular settings um, because they stress her to no end, but she's so much better for it. She's just great. that I like doing. I like to dance, so I figure why not learn something else? Why do you keep dancing? Um, mainly because it makes me happy and because there's awesome people here that make you feel very welcome and comfortable to come back and I call it my dance therapy and that's what it does. What are you looking forward to accomplishing? Uh, I'm always looking to improve and learn more. Think of going for the salsa routine next, so we're kind of sticking with the Latin theme, so someday it'll be really awesome. <laughs> Tienes control sobre mí Tu 
cuerpo es la cárcel y yo un prisionero Y jamás quiero salir Condenado y soy feliz Try to keep my balance but I still fall But how do I fall so hard? start dancing. Whose idea was it to sign up for dance classes? Mine. It was your idea? Yes, it was. Alright. What are your dance goals? Dance goals. Well, really, just exercise and fun. We're really enjoying the, uh, the camaraderie. This is making it difficult with, of course, the pandemic. But we really enjoy the, the people dancing with the music. And the fact that it's a little bit of uh, Exercise is even better. And it's good and challenging for my brain. It's my brain. You look like an angel. You look like an angel. Walk like an angel. Talk like an angel. But I got. You are never in the skies. Mm -hmm. You fool me with your kisses. You cheated and you schemed. Heaven knows how you lied to me. You're not the way you seem. You look like an angel. Walk like an angel. Talk like an angel, but I got wise. You're the devil in the sky. Oh, yes, you are the devil in the sky. Surprise, heaven help me, I didn't see the 